Hey guys, I'm Kirko, and today we're gonna be trying a new game. It's called Hell Sign, and it came out on Early Access uh, a week or two ago. So, uh, this game is made and uh, published by Ballistic Interactive, and it's an investigative action RPG that pits you against the horror of the afterlife let loose on a small town. As a hunter, you'll plan, hunt, and kill to pay the bills and piece together the fragments to your past. That's what Steam says. We're gonna be kind of uh, investigators and monster hunters. As you can see, there's some tentacles in the back over here. Spooky! So, uh, the Ballistic Boys were nice enough to uh, give me the key for free so I can test this game out. And I'll be glad to do so. I've not actually tried it out at all. Uh, but I've seen, like a couple of weeks ago, I've seen someone else play it and that's why I sent the mail to uh, the developers if they have a spare key because it's really a cool looking game. So, we can pick a boy over here. We can pick a picture first. We don't have that many options. Let's go with this guy, I guess. He has an eye patch. Seems cool, I guess. Oh, female's coming soon. Uh, we shall be Coco. That's that's fine. You have classes. Archaeologist. Art lover. Would be a relic collector. Speciality. Treasure hunting. Artifact crafting. Okay, we have a breacher. Use of heavy armor and health increase. Spe detective. Deduction and investigation using high-tech gadgets. Drifter. Can play the guitar. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Field medic. Use of medkits and extra health. Uh, stalker baits grenades and traps. Mercenary efficient with sidearms. Ninja dodging and assassination equipment. Dude, we have to be a ninja. Renegade gambling. Yeah, ninja definitely. Level three. Okay. Ninjutsu. I love the use of evasion footwear such as Geta and Tabby. Paranormal peripherals allows the use of specialized protective gear against poltergeists. Okay. I guess we start with some stuff. A pocket pistol. Pocket light. Ease carry EMP meter. Uh, okay. We do have a Gata shoes. Okay. And a hoodie, of course. Anabol X basically heals you, I guess. But it reduces your max HP. Now that's interesting. So, Coco, the ninja. Let's confirm the character. Let's get in. We own you now, bitch. Your soul is ours. We'll eat you from the inside. Okay. I'm fucked. This must be hell. I agree. A nightmare? How am I still alive? That's a good question. Where? No. Who am I? Well, you're Coco the Ninja. I should be dead, or at least it feel, felt like it. Oh yeah, eat all of those pills, that's gonna surely kill you. Not to mention this weird ass tattoo. Hmm, still feels fresh. Must have been one hell of a party. Hell yeah. Someone's calling you, buddy. Hey, you, the scout I talked to. The address is... Give me the address, man. Some weirdo about a job. Sure beats staying in this dump. <coughs> okay, I guess we're gonna go on a job. Continue onwards. <laughs> nice loading screen right there. Look at that guy hanging out there. Just enjoying his life, right? Or maybe he's a piñata. You never know. Ooh, look at us. We are in. Worn down house. Inactive poltergeist sighted. Shift plus move to sprint. A hey, cunt, we're over here. Yeah, screw you, buddy. So this is sprint. Final talk to Hunter. Um, first things first, I think the music is a bit loud. So if we can get the music down a bit. Something like this. Yes. Okay, let's go talk to these boys. Hello, sir. How's it going? There you are, about time. Rookie Hunter, mate, are you the scout we spoke to? Scout? Look, cunt, you see this automatic rifle on my back? I've had a hell of a week and I ain't here to waste time. Even lost my cat, so tell me. You blood joking before I lose my shit? Yeah, relax, mate. Thank fuck. So you know what you gotta do, right? Nope, not a clue. Bloody hell. <laughs> Alright, to give you a rundown, we had some abnormal EMP readings in the neighborhood. I believe poltergeists are involved, but don't worry about it, mate. That's our job. What do you need me to do? Like we spoke about over the phone, we need you to scout the house for any paranormal science activity, so get your... EM feed detector out, head into the house and suss it out. And when you're done, head back over here with any signs you find so we can figure out what we're up against. Okay, use van to drag EM feed gadget into play inventory. Enter the house. Okay. Uh huh. So this thing needs to be in my inventory, I guess. Okay, let's go enter the house. I do love the graphics of this. She takes it, pulls the cherry out, puts it between her teeth, and tells me to come get it. Haha. <laughs> 
Did you get her sister's number? Those peens sound horny as fuck, dude. Dude, what you guys talking about? I want in on the action. Okay, let's enter the house. What's up now? Okay. <coughs> Use EMP detector three to investigate for signs. Find sign using EMP gadget. Wait, what was that number? Uh, oh, it tells you what we have. Get within range and move your mouse cursor over objects. To test their electromagnetic frequency. I don't think that thing was uh, anything there. Let's go check this thing out. Suspicious? Maybe not. How about a body over here? No? Nothing? The sound is getting louder though. Buzz, 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 buzz. Maybe a flower pot? Not a suspicious flower pot. Okay. What about this thing on the ground? How do you even find clues? He just looks at stuff. Are you down here? Not a suspicious book. Okay. That's fine. Let's actually find something that. Get closer to collect this clue. Which clue? I don't think that was it. I don't think that was the one. At least I don't think so. We're just checking everything, okay? No fingerprints. Ooh, what is this door? Dude, lock with chains? Are you kidding me? Okay, maybe over here. Huh. Okay. Possibly not. How about in the fridge? There might be something suspicious in the fridge, right? Doesn't look like it. I doubt it's gonna be in the kitchen. Okay, how do you even... Oh, there's a body over here. How about this guy? No, not enough suspicious? Okay. Okay, well... How about this thing on the ground? No? Oh, I did... No, I didn't pick it up. The meter just doesn't want to go higher up. It just stays the same. I don't think it's in here. Let's go... Uh, down this way then. This is where we first heard... Okay, yeah, it goes lower over here. So this this thing is not suspicious, you're saying. Let's go check more. Find any signs, yeah. Okay, it's nothing is over here, and I can't go through that thing. Okay, so we have to go back there. Yeah, pretty sure. I mean, this is not suspicious at all. I mean, the dead body, why would I be suspicious, am I right? Oh! It's over here. It was over here. Did you see that? Something it felt like the whole place shook. This whole thing is a weird place. Okay, not down here. Further up here, possibly. Yeah, just following this 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 body might be the the biggest thing. So, how, what can I do with this body? You know, maybe not this body. How about this bookcase? How about this thing? Well... TV? I mean, I don't know if this is all suspicious or not, but... Okay, there you go! We have found rotten fruit as the evidence. Really? That was it? I had to go outside? Amazing. Let's see if you can get in here. I mean, we are a ninja, right? If you can't get through those locked doors, I'm sure we can go back here. And I like... Oh, this is dodge. Look at that. I can dodge. Woo! Locate the corpse of the blood trail. Okay, so you told me to enter the house, yet your first clue was outside. Amazing. Well, let's locate, locate a corpse with a blood trail, then. We know that there's one over here and there's one over there. It's not this one. Oh! Is this one? Use the blacklight cathode F to follow blood trail. Ooh, look at that! That is dope. Where's the? There's more stuff over here. You found more blood. You sign using find sign using black cathode. Uh, is it going over here? Let's go down this way still. There's more blood down here, right? Think? Hmm. That's not it, is it? Hmm. Oh, well, can we follow it in this direction? This is kinda cool though, you gotta admit. 
No, it's nothing. No blood in this direction. Makes sense. Uh, let's follow it up here then. Now we're here. Oh, was there something over here? No, 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 no. It wasn't. There's this guy, right? And it goes into the kitchen. Let's go into the kitchen. Yeah, this is where it. Where he, this guy was killed. Very much. Hmm. There's no more blood over here. We have to locate the sign yet. Beside this guy over here. I don't see what else we could do with the black black light. Because this one doesn't lead to anything. I guess we can check out stuff over here. Or maybe one of the like log doors. We could do that possibly. Let's check the log door. Maybe something came out of it. No. Something came out of a wall. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. I mean, it's, the game is kind of trying to tell you what you should do. But it's also at the same time totally not telling you what you should do. <laughs> oh, there's more blood down here. You see, you see. Every time. Oh, there's blood down here. Oh, we found a statuette. Evidence. Okay, find one more sign using EMV. Okay, we need to find one more sign. We've seen how that well that works. You're not within EMV perimeter indicated by the needle on the bottom left. Try a different area. Hey, does you see this is a different area? Let's see if uh, checking this guy now does anything. No. Because checking the corpse earlier didn't do anything. Oh, found an amulet. So I guess you have to lead like a certain trail. Find another corpse, then follow its bloody trail to find one more sign. So are you the one? Well, I found one more corpse. Let's uh, use the black light to find one more sign. It's not this one. So it's either over here somewhere next to this crash place maybe any suspicious stuff around here hmm could be how about over here no nothing around here we need to find one more sign boys get closer to collect a clue oh you're telling me that again did I like scan and think, but I was too far away? By any chance? Nah. Don't think so. Don't think so. So. Hmm. Like he was murdered there, but following that blood trail didn't do anything. Let's see if he can follow it over here. Hmm. Nothing over there. About any of these things. Actually, I think we found something over here, haven't we? before like these books are all suspicious to you man these books are all suspicious now we had to find one more corpse uh you know what how about we go outside and follow the the blood trail of the corpse outside that's something we could do maybe that one's gonna lead us to something yeah you guys just chill out there i'm i'm just doing the all of the investigation out here so this guy does not have a blood trail i guess it has been uh Washed away by the by the rain or something. Okay, let's see if we can find maybe another corpse on this side. I love the way uh, the game looks over here. It's it's beautiful, like this nighttime stuff. Okay, we can't go that way. So we kind of have to go back inside and see what we can find back inside. Oh, look at that! We have found a structural clue inside of this what chimney. Damn. Okay. <laughs> totally doesn't make sense where you find the clues. Like, if you follow anything, really, it doesn't really matter. You just go ahead and check everything. And that's gonna make more sense. Hey, Banjo Kazooie, I have something for you. Mate, I don't care what fucking sign you found. Just hurry up and decipher them before we get killed out here. Pull that Cryptonomicon out and start deciphering. Uh, what the hell is a Cryptonomicon? Your Cryptonomicon? I'm talking about the massive encyclopedia. Detailing cryptids and paranormal phenomena that every scout lives and breeds by during their training. 
Get the fuck out of here. Tell me you didn't waste our time by drawing out all this way without it. Press J to view your Cryptonomicon. Alrighty then. So, drag evidence signs into deduction slots. Okay, we have something about poltergeists over here. So we have rotten fruit, useless, level 1. Statuette, useless, level 1. Amulet, useless, level 1. And structure, useless, level 1. Sign that the battle took place. Don't be fooled, this amulet's history will haunt you. A miniature statue of the king. It must have been here for a long time. Uh, whatever. Put us over here. Combine it with a... I don't know what. Uh, Alicia, only possible in hunting grounds. Okay, well, let's drag these things over here. Decipher st structural. Okay. Click on the tab corresponding to the clue type. Pathology. Oh, so we have to check what this could be. Prisidic, venomous, vampiric, devourer. Uh, okay. Click on the tab corresponding to clue type. So, I think it's structural, right? Yeah, decipher structural. And decipher the clue, use arrows at the bottom to scroll pages. So, what does this look like? This look like... Conflict. Yeah, definitely looks like conflict to me. <coughs> Analyzing. There you go. Ooh, got a achievement. Okay, and you're sure it's a banshee, right? Last time I trusted the new guy in town, they just say it didn't end well. It's my best guess. Because I don't know. You don't sound too confident there, mate. I sure hope you're right, for both of our sakes. Listen, we gotta finish up this job before I go, but you can bugger off. Where's my pay for the job, mate? Look, we got our hands full here, so I'll tell you what. Head back to town and find the shaggy jackal down the valley road. I'll meet you there once I'm done with the poltergeist and we can sort out your pay. Alrighty then, you guys do your thing. I'm gonna leave the job in my van. Leave job. All the signs receive complete job award. Okay. Goodbye. I have the. Oh, we collected all the signs. Seven XP. Damn. Total earned zero. Amazing. Amazing. Head to bar and find Banjo Kazooie. Okay. Ooh. So this, I guess, is the our world map. And right now we only have bar over here. So let's go here. Head to Ben and find Banjo. Okay. Who looks like Banjo over here? I can talk to this guy. The barkeep. The bouncer. This looks like Banjo. Yeah, so who are you? you Joke, remind where's my damn money? Whoa, calm down, mate. I'll sort you out. Don't worry about that. You see that shady cunt in the corner there? With the black hoodie and the crappy shades? And that's Radback. Those signs you found? Well, you can get some serious cash selling them to him. See a merchant? Fixer, more like. Yeah, don't let the missing ear and shifty ass appearance fool you. He's sharp as a ninja knife, that one. Word to advise, watch your back around him. Last time we made a deal, he cheated me out of five grand and my fucking cat. My cat, mate. What kind of bastard takes another man's cat? I agree. Who's the hooded bastard? I guess this one. Fixer. Radback, yeah. I know you. You don't look like you're from around here. I stole you. Buy signs for cash. Your cop wouldn't the fuck sent you. Oh, man, relax. So who the fuck sent you? How do you know about me? Chill, man. Banjo sent me. Oh, Banjo Kazooie? You should have said so. I haven't played cards with that guy in ages. How much did he tell you about me? Well, he did say you cheated him out of five grand a cat. First of all, he wasn't even taking proper care of that cat. I didn't cheat him out of anything. Man's got a terrible poker face. Now that we clear that up, I deal in the underground stuff. And I only deal with cash, none of the debit card bullshit. So if you're looking to pawn off anything paranormal, I'm the guy to see around here. So you got the signs? Let's trade, buddy. Okay, so we have the signs, I guess. Uh, wow, $3. Sell that for amazing. There you go. We made 15 cash. Beautiful. We can buy some stuff. Cryptonomical entries detailing properties and weakness of corporeal cryptids. Sure. Buy schematic. Okay, head back to your safe house. I have a safe house if you say so. <coughs> There's my safe house, man. Let's go. Alright, uh, now that we are at safe house, uh, let's actually check. Cryptonomicon. Yeah, we know about critters and poltergeists, and that's about it. Use you to access your skills. Take on the crafting table to access it. Like, if you didn't, like, have this over here, I would actually be able to click stuff. 
This is action. Basic gadgets. I have 7 out of 100 XP. I'm a level 3 ninja. Oh, so I can unlearn those things. Allows deduction poltergeist sub treat level 2. So I guess I can level all this up. I can level the guns up. I have zero skill points, so you know. Uh, there's survival stuff. First aid, heavy armor. Cool. Subterfuge. Allows the use of proximity trip via countermeasures. Allows the use of traps. Ninjutsu allows the use of evasion footwear such as Geta and Tabby. Here's your dawn speed by 15. Level 99 required? What? Wow. Level 99. Dude. I'm level 3. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, well, this is Hellsign. I'm gonna play it for a bit more, see how it goes. Uh, for now, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe, and see more Doom Magic. And I'll see you next time. Check her out.